You saw the video. He was having a seizure. A seizure is a manifestation of brain damage, brain injury. He suffered an acceleration, deceleration injury of his brain. That is permanent damage. Parents need to know, and football players need to know, a concussion is a permanent injury of your brain. A concussion is brain damage. So by the time you've suffered a concussion, you've suffered brain damage. And sometimes it could manifest immediately, like it did with him. He began to have a seizure. Now, this is just one concussion documented. In his career, or since he began playing as a child, he may have had hundreds of those and thousands of subconcussive blows. Okay, in one season, a college football player may have over 1,000 significant impacts on his head. So people need to tell themselves the truth. Okay, let's not blame the NFL, no. That is, that is old fashioned. The NFL is a corporation that is there to sell a product entertainment. Each and every football player needs to know what is involved, what he is exposing him or herself to. That player's brain will never be the same before the impact. And over years, according to science, not according to Bennett Hamal, there is a significant risk that as the years go by, all his exposure to blunt force impacts will accumulate to generate a deleterious outcome, traumatic encephalopathy. So what do we do from here? In my opinion, again, he's only 23 years old. My recommendation is he should retire. <laughs> that is my recommendation again. Or if he doesn't want to retire, he shouldn't play again for the rest of the season. That's what I was going to say. He, he he was able to walk off the field on his own and he'll go into whatever their concussion protocol is, but it, you would not advise him returning there. They're going to be in the playoffs, the Cleveland Browns. Better to Marlo's recommendation again, not as a physician, as a doctor, hypocrite is said, first, do no harm. I said this many years ago. They laughed at me at a conference. Given what I saw in that video, he should be benched for the rest of the season for at least three months. We know from neuropathology that it takes about three months for the axonal spheroids, for the uh, histologic manifestations of damage to disappear. Okay. If you fracture your skeleton, you stay away for about three months. I said that and then we should have a concussion insurance. So when a player like him manifests such severe concussion, the concussion insurance will set him to take care of his salary, and then he's kept out of play for the rest of the season. Okay, we are dealing with human brains. The brain is 60 to 80% water. No matter how big or tough you are, it is still about 1,100 to 1,300 grams. Okay, 200 billion cells floating in a sea of water. That is what the brain is. So what I saw is a manifestation of brain damage. It is permanent. And if it sustains another severe concussion within a couple of days, that individual could drop dead on the field. That individual could drop dead on the field. Now, people who do not like my message, rather than challenging the scientific context of my message, would choose to attack me personally and ridicule me. Bring it up. Let's talk about the science. Let's talk about the science and stop fooling ourselves. My duty as a doctor is to tell the truth, no matter how inconvenient it may be. Because if you don't accept the truth, you can only generate alternative traits and alternative solutions that ain't going to do nothing for you.